Although we may share the gospel here and there, many of us struggle to grasp how urgent the message of Jesus truly is. In this episode, we'll talk about how followers of Christ should have a fiery passion for saving souls that encourages them to urgently share the gospel with the world. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Welcome to the Evangelism Podcast with Dr. Daniel King, where Daniel interviews full-time evangelists, pastors, missionaries, and normal everyday Christians to discover how they share their faith, their powerful testimonies, and amazing stories that will inspire you to reach people with the good news. And now, here's your host, missionary and evangelist, Daniel King. I was 14 years old when I had the opportunity to go on a mission trip to the nation of Jamaica. And so we went running through the neighborhoods of Montego Bay, passing out flyers and inviting people to come to our mini crusade that we were having that night. Well, Jamaica is very hot and humid. So by the end of the service, we were hot, we were tired, we were, we were exhausted. All we wanted to do was to go back to the hotel, take a shower and fall into bed. But when we arrived at the hotel, there was a big problem. For some reason, all the water in the hotel had been shut off. But someone in the group was a smart missionary and they said, well, let's just go down to the swimming pool and we'll wash in the swimming pool. And so that's what we did. We took our shampoo, our soap, we went down to the swimming pool and we were washing off in the swimming pool. And as we were playing around, I noticed that off on the edge of the pool, there was a panel that was smoking and there were some sparks coming out of it. And I thought to myself, panels are not supposed to smoke. And so very foolishly, I swam over to investigate this smoking panel. And as I'm looking at it, suddenly the light that was under the water, it shocked my leg and it scared me because you can die from electricity. And so immediately this whole side of my body went numb. I managed to pull myself up out of the pool and I, I walked away dragging my leg and I immediately began thanking God, saying, thank you God so much for saving me. And I was six steps away from the pool. Suddenly I remembered that all of my friends were still in the swimming pool. And immediately I became very concerned for their safety. I rushed back over to the swimming pool and I started yelling at them and said, guys, guys, get out of the pool, get out of the pool. And of course they were all teenagers. They said, Daniel's just playing a practical joke. But I was serious. I said, guys, get out of the pool. If you stay in the pool, you're going to die. It shocked me. You can die if you stay in the pool. And so finally, some of them were convinced. They, they got out of the pool. And then I started grabbing people by the hair and physically trying to pull them out of the pool. And finally, they realized how serious I was and everyone got out of the pool. And thank God, no one died that day in the swimming pool. And right then, God spoke to me and said, Daniel, you need to have the same passion saving people from hell as you showed saving your friends from the swimming pool. You see, a lot of people, they get saved and they walk away saying, thank you, God, for saving me. But they forget that there is a world full of people who are dying and going to hell. And so thank God that you're saved, but let's not forget about all the other people that need Jesus. Someone said one time that Christianity is like one starving man who found bread, going and telling all the other starving men where they can find bread. And so thank God that you have found the bread of life. Now take the bread of life and go give it to other people who are hungry. God bless you. Are you called by God to be an evangelist? Do you want to lead millions of people to Jesus? Do you desire to be trained in the practical side of building a ministry? Then check out the Daniel King School of Evangelism. Learn how to be an effective evangelist from Dr. Daniel King's 20 plus years of experience. Daniel King has done crusades all over the world in over 70 nations and has seen over 2 million people give their lives to Jesus. But it wasn't easy. There was no crusade school. So Daniel traveled the world, learning from and observing top evangelists 
noticing how they successfully won souls for Christ. Now, he wants to share decades of knowledge and experience with you. Topics of the Daniel King School of Evangelism include what is an evangelist, how to be a master soul winner, how to give an altar call, how to organize a crusade, how to raise money for your ministry, and much more. If you want to be an evangelist but don't know where to start, the Daniel King School of Evangelism is for you. Enroll today in the School of Evangelism by going to danielkingministries.com slash evangelism. Thanks so much for listening today. I am excited about telling people about Jesus, and I want to invite you to be a part of helping us to rescue people from hell and take them with us to heaven. There's two things you can do to help. First of all, can you go find the Evangelism Podcast on Apple iTunes and leave us a positive review? By giving a review, you will help other people find these valuable resources about sharing our faith. And second, would you become a financial partner with King Ministries? Every single dollar that people give us enables us to lead at least one person to Jesus. And so that means for only one dollar, you can help start a party in heaven. And so today, I want to invite you to become a monthly partner. You can start out for just a dollar, but if God puts it on your heart to do more, of course you can do more. But please go to kingministries.com and become a monthly partner with us today to help us to lead more people to Jesus. Thank you so much, and God bless you. For more information about how to share your faith or to financially support our worldwide evangelistic outreaches, visit kingministries.com. Again, that's kingministries.com.